not used to this protest. him upside the head and left him for dead in the road and uh and that's the way he was well well we know that any time that someone came to lift us up out of that rendition that 400 years of slavery left us in those who put us in that condition were opposed to it so <clears throat> but even at that <clears throat> the nation of islam under the leadership of messenger elijah muhammad was able to dignify lift that black man Give us a, a knowledge of self, mm -hmm. a knowledge of our, our history, a knowledge of a, a true knowledge of God, and a true knowledge of the enemies of God. Because no man of God, no true man of God would do what they did to black people or the Native Americans that were here before they got, got here. You can you come in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus and still you come and you rob and you rape and you kill, plunder the land, plunder the land, uh, uh, give these people disease, you brought all kinds of diseases with you. So history is best qualified to reward our research. Let's start with the best. You understand me? Let's work with the best. A lot of us reject the honor of Elijah Muhammad because we still had a so we had that slave mentality. You had yeah. you had slaves uh, who, if, if if you know the house Negro, he, if the field Negro said, "Well, look, I'm getting ready to, to run away today," the house would say, "Master, he's trying to get away. You want me to catch him for you? What is this? You, know, you don't name this on this character because it was made like this. It's not his fault. Yeah. But it's not. I, this is." The separation is, is definitely going to take place. So since history is our most attractive study, we need, yeah. we need, we absolutely need to go back and get the best of our history. The nation of Islam was the best. We didn't care. We don't carry weapons. Our motto, we have the program and the faith of everybody to see we want freedom, full and complete freedom. We want justice, equal justice under the law. We want justice applied equally to all, regardless of creed or class or color. We want equal opportunity with equal membership in society, we want equal opportunity, we want equal membership in society with the best in civilized society. Now, what they didn't like was we want our people in America whose parents or grandparents were descended from slaves to be allowed to establish a separate state or territory of their own, either mm -hmm. on this continent or elsewhere. We believe our former slave maps are obligated to provide such land and that the area uh, should be fertile and minerally, minerally rich. Now, if you go look, we're talking about history. There was a program that came on it called the Hate that Hate produced. Oh uh, yeah, I saw that. Okay, now now Irv Cuffnet was, was was interviewing the messenger, and he asked him, "Well, Mr. Muhammad, how do you think that uh, just a handful of you are going to control the masses of people who are opposed to what you're proposing?" He said, "Oh, Mr. Cuff, numbers don't mean anything." It's not numbers that, that that matters. He says, what matters is the sincerity of those who want to see uh, 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 the, the program out to the end. There's a lot of Muslims back in the day who made sacrifices, brother, that this yeah. government had. They, they infiltrated, you know that, they infiltrated every black organization, starting with uh, Marcus Garvey, Nova Drew Ali. It really does, didn't matter. We know, we have history, you have, uh, now the roots came out, was in 60, you know, in 75 they showed it, or 70. 70. A lot of black people didn't even know that. And a lot of white people didn't know that these things went down. And that was so watered down. It ain't even funny. <laughs> yeah. But they did. That was a picnic mm -hmm. compared to what they really did. And this is why we're in the shape we're in. And I believe that the best salve to heal our busted up head is the program of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And you're right, Brother Talib. What we need uh -huh. is discipline. We're afraid yeah. of discipline. There's nothing wrong with a righteous regimen. Jesus put it yes. like this. The first law is to love God. He said the first law is to love God, law, heart, soul, and mind. The second is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now, we stress love your brother as you love yourself. Mm -hmm. What is a brother? A brother is one who does, wants for his brother what he wants for himself, black. Yes. See, yes. See, we're afraid of righteousness. No, we got to practice righteousness. It's our nature. Message. Us that righteousness is our nature, and this is something that we're that we're stronger in righteousness than any other thing. So that's what we need to do, Black. That, that, that's what I'm, I'm up there in that history. Let's deal with that. Yes, let, at least, I mean, until we can come up with something better, and I don't believe we ever will be able to. Let's uh -huh. let's, let's implement, implement what we know will work. We know that'll work. Yes, sir.
I would like to uh, I would like to uh, just take a, a, a few minutes to to make a few points. The last points we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and round this 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 part of the discussion up and uh, bring it to conclusion. I want to just make these few points um, about the uh, the fiasco with our and I want to say this to us and make very very clear that I do not advocate nor do I make excuse for that type of behavior. It is a no-no. We are supposed to be a civilized people. We shouldn't, we should know better. But because we should know better, don't mean that we will do better. Because not only in this particular instance, it's a lot of things that we do every day that we know better, but that don't mean that we're gonna do it. That's right. So, so just because you know don't necessarily mean that you will would do. And I want to use that as an example. And I want you, I want some feedback on this because that's what we're here for. We're here as brothers with coming from different places. But when when it's all said and done in the end, we all come together for one common purpose, one common goal. The number one priority is the freedom and justice for our people to raise them up out of this dead state. Because Lord knows. They did. And you make a mistake if you think that you are awake. Because you're not, we're not fully awake either. That's why we're still stumbling. Because if we, with all brothers and sisters in this nation that claim that they are awake, we should be doing better. But the problem is our people are dead. And those of us who claim that we are awake, apparently we're not as awake as we think because people that's awake, you can see their works. You can see their footsteps. You can see their activity. And you know, I'm not seeing that in our communities with all these people on Facebook, YouTube. I'm looking at all these black conscious and all these people. Well, where's the, where's your activity? People don't have activity. You don't expect them to have nothing. But when you're dealing with a person that's awake, you should be able to see their, uh, their, 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 uh, the presence of a living person, their footsteps. You should be able to hear their voices. You should. You should be able to walk through the woods and see where they crack the vine, where they walk, where they where they was. At. You don't see that within us. So let us not let us not get the big head. Like for some reason, we are better or greater than anybody else. This is a struggle for all of us. And when one person is down, the only thing you have to do is reach down and try to grab that person up. This is not about this is not about tearing our people down or making mockery. This is trying to help one another when somebody has fallen. You understand what I'm, what I'm saying? Yes, sir, brother. You, but you cannot. You got to tell it like it is. You have to tell it. Not you like you want to it to like be. That's true. You got to tell it like it is in order to deal with it for what it is. I mean, I would like for it to be other than what it what it right. is. But we got to tell it like see it and just like see it. And if that's right. not true, let your brother say, "Well, no, brother, I see it this way." You know, right, and because right. we 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 are we are compelled to argue in the best mm -hmm. manner and to buy right. with one another in righteous deeds. Right. Uh, may, I, may I say something? Yes, yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, like not to take away from nothing that Michael Anderson say, because uh -huh. I respect the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. You know, but before what I'm trying to say is that first, what we need to do first is get in line with the Creator first, because whether or not you believe in Creator, I believe He exists. This is just my opinion. I'm not saying yes, I'm right. You yeah. can disagree. This is just the way I view. Right. So we must need to be in line with the creator and be righteous with the creator. Mm -hmm. Because the thing that's going on with our people is going on socially. Think about it. How could the strongest people on earth, and we are the strongest people on this earth, I don't care what anybody say, mm -hmm. on this thing on universe. So how could, this, how could a group of the most strongest, most influential people with the, with, with the greatest, most influential history end up in this condition? Good question. We, we, well, there's an answer. Right. We end up in this condition due to unrighteousness, due to the things we do to each other. So now we have pe we have these people of offices that's above us. So we need to get in line with the creator first and be right with the creator. So that's because if we... I'm sorry. Excuse me? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, because if we don't get in line with the creator and have a relation with that creator and do right by this creator, then guess what? This is going to still happen. 
So we need to unify with the creative person. And then, of course, we need to unify with our brothers and sisters. Right. right. Beyond, beyond your opinion, what you believe, we need to unify with each other and right. love each other. There's no more love for yeah. each other, man. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, there's a song by Jay-Z where he says, where's the love? Mm. Where's the love? Uh -huh. There's no love in us anymore. Yeah. There's no sincerity. <clears throat> Thank you. You know, no love. I mean, I cannot even go outside the street and say, hey, how, how are you doing? Good morning. <laughs> to my own people. Right. No. They're looking like I'm wrong. If I came up and said, hey, what's up, nigga? Want a dub set? Oh, they'll have a smile on their faces. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. So I got to call you a nigga to put a smile on your face? I can't say, hey, how, good morning? Good evening? Come on. And hmm. uh, another thing I can say is that also, you know, a lot of us on YouTube, we talk about social economics. We talk about uh, uh, owning our own businesses, in which I agree. We talk about getting our own yes, plan, which I can agree with. What we all need to do is we need to reestablish uh, family values in the home. Hmm. We establish that because a lot of our people grew up in broken homes, which is no coincidence why, you know, a lot of, a lot of people in my generation are the way they are. Because at home, because of what started at home. You know, uh, a lot, a lot of us men, especially in the younger, and especially the men in my generation, do not know how to be men. A lot of women in my generation don't know how to be women. So we need to we need to reestablish family value. We need to reestablish a moral value on how to treat each other. Because if we don't have right. that, then guess what? We can't establish a, 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 a true righteous social economic system. Because if we don't have this moral system on loving our brother and how to treat our brother, then guess what? We're not going to want to support our brother because we don't love our brother. Mm -hmm. so, well, well, Black, I'm going to tell you, you know, that's why we must educate our own brother. We must educate our own. Yeah, and this is I the problem. Agree. You know, uh, that, that's where you start first, educating your own brother. I mean, we, we give our children to, the, to our enemy to educate, and he miseducates or undereducates us, and they grow up yeah. With more love yeah. for our enemies than they do for their own parents. They come home and they drive your parents up the wall imitating these uh, other people. You know what I'm saying? And we have, so, so the love that for us, they have for the enemy. If we tell them that they're wrong, they say, well, I'm going to get the enemy. Get you straight. A lot of us have a lot of love for that enemy. Why did mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We want to imitate the enemy. We want to imitate the master. We want to carry on yeah. his debauched lifestyle. You know, we let right. anything play on the radio, with all kind of crap on the television. We don't yes. teach our children the truth of their history. So mm -hmm. what do we expect, man? What do we expect? A lot of us have been educated. You, you went to school here in America. I right. did. I barely escaped with what my life, expect? and it did get better. It got worse. You know, you know what? I, I think when and you know, all of us have said something about, mm. our, you know, first of all, knowing mm -hmm. about the creative, we also got to understand what we've done as a people. We've been told... Forget our past. Don't talk about what happened 400, 500, 6,000 years ago. Because if we start talking about that, our people have a better sense of respect. Think about it. Mm. Like you said, from kindergarten to college, being taught a twisted version of history or just lies. As, as children, we sit there and say, wait a minute. You mean to tell me there's no black people that done anything? That by the time you get to sixth or seventh grade, you get discouraged. And you're like, I'm just going to go right. to talk about some white folk. So by the time you get in high school, you don't want to know anything. So when, then when you finally start to wake up, mm. you don't have no skills. So you get angry and say, well, if I can't get a minimum wage job, I'm going to take this American mm. dream that I see advertised every day. So it becomes this endless cycle. The women in our community have been mm. told by white feminists that the black man is your problem. He did to you. The original baby daddy was the white slave master. The original baby mama was the yeah. white slave master. You know what I mean? They, I mean, think about it. These women didn't even breastfeed their own children. You know, and they're going to talk about us, tell black women how you need to raise your children. We, got, we see white girls taking pregnancy packs. They all get pregnant at the same time because they want mm -hmm. to be mamas. But then when they believe the system, it gets back. Well, the black community does right. this. Until we start passing on our knowledge, and talking about the things that our granddads and grandmamas did, we ain't gonna know anything. We're too busy letting people we we interpret um things. Like I give you an example, Dr. King. We all know this brother sacrificed himself. He knew he was gonna lose yes. leave at before he got forty. Now they all they got us thinking about Dr. King is he had a dream, 
he marched, he died. They don't tell you he met with Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. They don't tell you that him and Brother Malcolm was going to get together. They don't tell that Mark, Martin started talking about business and finance, it's something that Malcolm and Elijah Muhammad have talk, and Marcus Garvey yeah. talked about years prior. Right. They don't tell you that because the chance of somebody like a Malcolm or Mr. Farrakhan or Jeremiah White right waking us up, then we become dangerous because then mm -hmm. they can't control us no more. That means we won't go by their crap. We won't, won't mess with their women, they men. We won't act like them. Be that's what we're afraid of. This is why they get into our school. They tell they tell the parents, entrust us with your children. But if the children don't learn, it's your mom and dad. How can it be your mom and dad's fault when they don't have the education, but then these people you entrust from grammar right. school all the way to college, they teach your children. It is, I see little right. black kids can know certain words correctly. You don't blame mom and dad for that? Ill, what do they say? 50%? Illiterate? Huh? Yeah. Can't read? Come on, man. What happened? You know what the thing gets me? What gets me, brother? Back during Jim Crow, back during slavery, blacks for, taught themselves how to read. What the hell is wrong with us? We made those of us born from the 1940s going on. We didn't have to experience what our parents and great grandparents did. I mean, don't get me wrong. We had stumbling blocks and we still do. But here it is. Those of us born in the 1970s been complaining about the man all the time. Some of the stuff we do, we bring it on ourselves. I mean, I see sisters my age. They keep messing with good dudes over and over again. And after a while, they was, you know what, yeah. third child, you think I would stop. You know what I mean? You, you, or the brother keep messing with the woman that she can't keep her legs closed. You think stop. It's an endless cycle. Over again, then we want to get to our, get to our 50s. You know what, mom and dad, they check and blame parents. They blame the white man for everything. We know that he started a lot of his drama. But it's up to people to say, you know what? I'm tired of seeing our people die on the streets. Tired of our people being homeless. I'm tired of us not being kids. I'm tired of people going around saying, I'm a Christian. That don't get us nowhere. <laughs> that, I mean, like I said earlier, I'm passionate about this because I went to the army and I saw how treachery, I saw how people in other countries. That's how we kill people and come back home. They feeding everybody, build a lives. Are we there neighbor building? No, we was over there get that oil. We was killing people. Right. And anybody here question it, they're gonna they're gonna call you a a, a, a hater, a patriarch, and everything. And, and just it's so up. much. Say you and lock you up without due process. They just came out with this stupid bill. I don't know John McCain and some other person say that they are just a suspect. Of being a terrorist. Mm -hmm. You're done. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Terrorist. You want to know one? Yeah. You know what I mean? You are a terrorist. Right. You've been a terror ever since you've been on this planet. Yeah. Exactly. And guess what? They're trying to say what we're, say what we're doing. What us, what us guys doing right now, they're trying to say it's sedition. Because that's why uh -huh. I, when I do my videos, I tell people, watch the language you use. See, you got to, you got to, excuse me, y'all, and I just swear, but you got to learn how to mind fuck the mind fuck you. Well, well, you see what well, well, this is uh -huh. why we say, we uh, want our people in America whose parents or grandparents were descendants from slaves mm. to be allowed to establish a separate state <laughs> or territory of their own, either on this continent or elsewhere. We yeah. our former slave, slave master obligated uh, to provide such land and that the area must be fertile and minerally, minerally rich. Yeah. our former slave master obligated to maintain and supply our needs in this territory for the next 20 to 5 years until we are able to produce and supply our own needs. Since we cannot along with them in peace and equality, after giving them 400 years of our sweat and blood and receiving in return some of the worst treatment beings have ever experienced, we believe our contribution to this land and the suffering forced upon us by white America justifies our for complete separation. Now, we can't get separated and go into a land as enough. No. We want to be dignified like we've always tried to be. And here you come to uh, uh, destroy our communities. No, we're not allowed that. We're free people, bro. Free. I'm going to tell you something we got to stop doing. Quit allowing everybody to be, to be, be our friends. Every time I hear a black person speak, the first thing we do, we say our brothers and sisters. We say our gay brothers and sisters. Don't get me wrong. Y'all might hear me say brothers and sisters. That's a figure of speech. But yeah. my thing is, if we can't take care of our own, why in the hell am I going to join forces with somebody that come over here, came over here 40, 30 years ago, or just 10 years ago, and they contain the American dream. Here it is, we are descendants of slaves. We ain't the show for it. Here it is, the so-called Native American, which has a lot, they're a lot closer to us than they care to admit. They get, uh, they can get land, tax credits. Here we descendants of slaves. As soon as we say something about 40 acres of milk, oh, you guys right. gonna live in ass. Here it is. Right, right. The gay, the gay community came in and huh. used us as a puncher back. Here it is. Bill Clinton and them put don't ask, don't tell in, in place. You way these gay people talk this past summer, you would think Mr. Obama did this on the black community. They accuse us of being the most homophobic. I don't like people uh, engaging in hate crimes. 
right. the Jewish, the so-called Jewish community. They sit there and say, we're more anti-Semitic. They compare our brothers and sisters to Hitler. Tell me when a black man, a black woman, right. should look like Thank you. And compare 6 million Jews to 100 million black yeah. people. And that was just in the middle passage. Yeah, so, thank man, you. Can, can, we, can we talk about our Holocaust sometime? You say never forget, but you want us to forget. We got a exactly. bunch of handkerchief heads running around here telling us, oh, that's in the past. Don't bring it up, mother. Every t and I'm, and I, and I, I'm not advocating violence. It's a uh, clip out here on YouTube that they put, right. Mr. it had to be back in the 80s, Mr. Farrakhan right. and said, if you sell drugs or do anything to a child, we should treat you like a traitor. Problem is, we as black folks have not dealt with those people in our community who mm. have decided they're going to coon and buffoon because we talk about love and that Christian stuff. Toss that to the side. I'm sorry. If you sit there and stand with the enemy and get out and pair it with the enemy, you are not my brother. You are not my sister. You are an enemy, and you shall be treated like an enemy. Until
enemy, that's the first position he wanted to destroy. According to uh, uh, Mike Wallace, he says, these are the black Muslims, and they are the most powerful of the black supremacist group. Mm -hmm. We never taught uh, 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 black supremacy. Right. Why did, you, why did, why did uh, uh, Mike Wallace, why are you uh, sitting here uh, uh, representing us to, to the world? We, we don't represent ourselves to the world the way you do, mister. Why don't you represent yourself to the world and let us represent ourselves to the world? We Brother were Mike, representing uh, ourselves to the world. When the Honorable Elijah Muhammad uh, left us, we had an $80 million empire. We had imports, exports. We had food, clothing, and shelter. We were had a, a, an example of what black people could do in unity. Right. Why do you want to mess with this, uh, 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 J. Edgar Hooper? Hmm. Why do you want to mess with this? I'll tell you why I want to mess with this. Because you got 10 FOI out there, right? Each one of them FOI. $20 worth of liquor a week. At $20 worth of liquor a week, that's t that's $1,040 per FOI a year. Mm. Times 10, that's 10400 That's my money. Mm. I want it back. See, so if I make you dignified, mm. and this is what we were trying to do, is make you uh, appreciate what righteousness really is. True righteousness. Not no lip profession. We, needed, we wanted to make righteousness attractive. We wanted you to feel the, the uh, uh, consoling benefits of living a guilt-free, righteous life in harmony to the Lord of the world, brother. Mm -hmm. you understand? There, there's a peace that comes with that. Islam is peace. Peace comes on the heels of freedom, justice, and equality. And that's what we want. That's what you know, free. Brother Michael, I want to I bring up the, the, the thing you said about Michael Wallace. The, iron, the ironic part is he identifies himself as Jewish, right? He has the nerve, yeah, he has the nerve to come in and accuse black people of hate what he or his people supposedly just experienced hate, what, 10 years prior to that, if I'm not mistaken? And I'm sitting here, those people, and I'm not saying all, I want everybody, because when people watch this, they're gonna be listening to certain phrases, I'll say we're not small, but certain groups of people who happen to be Jewish, have came into our community, to our organization, and told us, this is how you do this. And they told us, you, you break yourself off as a Democrat, Republican, and for the last 50 years, we've been buying into that stuff. And then they go in and tell to your pastors, listen to somebody at the church level, and this caused nothing but confusion. And, and we don't want to talk about this because I think we're not violent men, but at some point, we're going to have to make a decision what we're going to do for that small group of people who keep up so much crap in our community. Uh, it says we're going to have to probably decide what we're going to start dealing with them in a manner that we don't want to deal with as traitors. You know what I mean? I mean, well, I know, know that makes sound for, harsh. For a long time, it was a Jew that was ahead of the NAACP. And a lot, and a lot of blacks don't know that. They asked Malcolm that. Malcolm said, well, you know, it's hard to, to, to he said, Islam is a natural religion. He said, now you can't call natural a, a, a black body with a white head as natural. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so, so these people, what are you doing? Uh, 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 all those years, you couldn't uh, find a black man to head the nationalization for advancement of colored people. And what's look, up? and look what's going on now. Look what's going on in the media. Look how they got into they got into rap. They didn't rap. Now you rap. I call it idiot rap. When you turn <laughs> around and you pan, had your pants off your butt, you didn't pimp and make your women look bad. You mm -hmm. put out some images in your community. Look at television. They say blacks watch more TV than anybody. But yeah, it's no black programs when us not telling the joke. I mean, think right. about it. If right. Tyler Perry got a show on TV, it's not but Tyler Perry shows. It's the same image. And I'm sitting there like, I, want, I would love to see a documentary. I would love to see a news program where it's not slanted, make us look bad. You know what I mean? And then you got, then you got, um, then you got uh, the school system, predominantly black. But you're teaching our kids nothing about their people. At some point, we want to make a decision. Those who education, are you, education. If you yeah. yeah. say my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, yeah, we lack that knowledge, that truth that Jesus was alluding to that would make us free, brother. So we don't have no sense of dignity. We have no sense of self worth. We can't appreciate nothing because we don't know nothing. Mm. Yeah, and, and I, I got to say, appreciate I was, what you don't know. And I want to put this out here again because, like I said, usually when black men get together like this and we talk. People find ways to try to twist our words. So yes, I am not anti-Jewish. Uh -huh. I'm not anti-gay. I'm not anti-Mexican. I'm just stating that we, like, like what all of us say here today, we need to separate. We need to focus yeah. on our own because, like you said, if you if you're sick, you don't need to go out there and expose yourself to more sickness. You know what I mean? Right.
it, it's, just, it's, it's, just, it's crazy. Well, brother, since we were created in the image and image of God, in order to be a true man, you got to emulate the creator. And you got to emulate the prophet that he sent to represent him. That's what a man is, brother. A true man is a provider, a maintainer, sustainer, an educator and protector of his women and children. Amen. He loved his brother. That's what Amen. a real man That's a real is. Man. If you ain't doing that, you're not aspiring to manhood. I don't know what you're doing. Yes, you yes. know what? Uh, if somebody if somebody want to say that we're hateful, that we're anti, just let them say that. Because you know what? Whenever you have positive brothers that come together and speaking about productivity and unity, there's always going to be a devil. That's Whether yeah. a so-called white devil, right. a so-called black devil, a so-called brown devil, a devil with four horns, not two, that's going to come in and say, <laughs> that's going to come in and backbite and say all this other nonsense. This person is that. You're going to always find the floor. So, you know what? For all you people listening, well, the big, oh, a lot of people that know me already hate me. I'm the guy you hate. Yeah. You know, right. So, you call me. I don't, I don't really care. I'm still going to be myself. And I'm still going to say like it is, the way it is, whether you like it or not. You know? And that's how you have to be. I, I, I do. Please do. See, wait, because I agree with you. Ex respect me enough to accept my uh, uh, observation. And if you can prove me wrong, prove me wrong. And if you do, I'm going to submit because I want to be right. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly. I tell people when they, when they follow my videos, don't take my word for it. Go out there and do the research yourself or take the blinders off and see. Yeah. Because I could be giving you messed up information. I don't want you just to come to my channel and agree with me and make me feel better, think you're stroking my ego. No. I want you right. to go out there right. and do due right. diligence and go to the library. And don't just go on the internet because there's a lot of misinformation on the internet. Don't just watch one television right. network. Like people say, I can't watch Fox that they racist. Well, CNN, MSNBC is not. You know what I mean? Thanks. Sometimes you need to know. Sometimes you need to know what the enemy is saying, so you can combat them. Learn their language. Learn their body gestures. Sitting right next to me, listen yeah. to us talk. And the reason why I'm here is I want to see that black men of different ages uh -huh. from different parts of the country can get together and have a positive conversation without insulting each other. We yes, respect yeah. respect each other's opinions. Yes, sir. Yeah. Like, no brothers, it's, yes, sir. I got some things I got to do, and I'm probably going to uh, get out of here. But I, what I want to say is. I want to do. I want to do this. So we, about, maybe I don't yeah. know if we can do this every month or maybe twice a month. But maybe we should uh -huh. do this again. And if we can, let's try uh -huh. to get some more people involved. And if we can, yes. let's try to get some sisters involved and see what yes, they sir. do. Because a lot of times, I think what we do is we let people break us into groups, men against women, and then right. they tell they get right. our women to the side and say, right. "See, they don't want to hear your your opinion." You know what I mean? Uh -huh. because, because if we can get out, if mm -hmm. we can get a cohesive whole. Male and female, just not just male. We can be, we can be, we can be dangerous. That's just, that's just my. Opinion. That's right. That's right. What we have did here is an example <laughs> of dangerousness. I don't mind. I don't mind being this kind of dangerousness. And really, it's in the best interest of not only yeah. of us, but of yeah. white people too. I mean, wouldn't it be better that that we're that that we are more uh, productive? more productive and, and that we are doing our own thing, that we you said that we're lazy and trifling. Well, we are on a path where we're doing for ourselves. So nobody I else doing it. We have to do it ourselves. all ourselves. Exactly. I still, and, I, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Tali. Yeah. I, I still and, scratch my head and wonder, yeah, go ahead. how could a group of people that provided 400 years of free labor be lazy? Uh -huh. That's one. Yeah. I'm still working. They're still scratching my head. You know? Right. Yeah. That was his thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is another thing they said, brother. We're gonna have to go ahead and wrap it up. Another thing they said, they talk about we so violent. I said, We yeah, so violent, we how the hell we were slaves for 300 years? We had to wait on them to have civil war. Answers to those questions, so and those answers need to be looked at and talked about, brother. There's answers, those, those are good questions, and there's answers to them. <laughs> Why in the heck you was a slave for 300 years and never rebelled? They bred fear into you. You feared this man? Shout of us are scared to death today. Yeah, I tell people this. People ask me, you know, hey, Harvey, how can you of get course. afraid going on and showing your face? I'm like, wait, if I'm afraid doing this and wasn't afraid going over into Iraq risking my life, then I got, it got something wrong with me. I mean, I'm about, really think about, you think I this risk man don't, oh. Man, he got your <laughs> blood type, your phone number, your social security <laughs> number. Hey, come on, where you going?
Yeah, no, I'm saying like, secrets they today. Know I'm mad. They know why I'm mad. They know, like, I keep I hearing people saying that, you know, our freedom, they, they spy on us. I hate to break it to you, but they've been doing it for years. It's just that now you know about it. Because I'm telling you, I was I was in the army. I know what they can get capable of. And right. you'd be surprised. The stuff you see in movies, you think that's exaggerated? Uh-uh. Yeah. It's a lot closer to the truth. And you think, I'm telling you right now, somebody's monitoring to us talk right now. That's right. right. Even, even, I, say, I say that the, uh, the beast got eyes yeah. before and behind. The Holy Quran say the devil, as well as his host, sees you from whence you see them not. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad says, they tell me all the time, Elijah, we hear everything you say. Mm. He say, I wait. He say, this is a why. He say, but what I can, devil, read it and weep. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Even though I don't have my face shown right now, but right. most of my videos, I show my face. And guess what? You cannot be a faceless right. leader. There's no such thing as a faceless yeah. leader. I don't want people to see my face. I don't want people to say, yeah. this is the face that's right. telling the devil to hell with you. Right. I don't want you to see my face. Mm -hmm. When you see me in the street, yes, this is the guy that say, the hell with you, devil. Yes. This is the guy that said, we need unity. This is the guy that want our people to unite. Uh -huh. I want you to see my face. Well, a lot of us you know, are vain, and I personally don't care whether you see yeah. my face or not. It's, but the right. point of it is, I want to get some work done. I mean, hey, yeah. uh -huh. let's, let's, let's get busy doing it. Let's go in the backyard. You know, we could start some yes, urban sir. gardening. Yes, sir. Gardening. I was reading on the internet the other day, a man had fruit trees all in his house. Uh -huh. You see, and so, so you know, if we can just take some of this money out of this man's pocket, oh. if we're not into production, let's get into distribution. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we can do some things. You know what I'm saying? All we need to do is pull our uh -huh. talent, intellectually, and uh, 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 physically, and mentally, and then do it in joy, brother. I mean, stop. Well, brother, you you put in five dollars more than me, or I put in five dollars. Okay, cool, five dollars more, big deal. <laughs> Big deal. You know, let's get done. Well, on that, on that note, we're getting ready to shut this down. This was a wonderful meeting. I, I really enjoyed myself. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I had technical difficulties. I think we only got about a half an hour worth of video. <laughs> I think that's all we got. But it's enough to show the brothers and sisters that black men, we can come together and we're going to, I'm going to ask some sisters next time and uh, not only talk, but we can see, we can come together and put some kind of ideas. Although we fall apart from one another, we can still take advantage of this thing that, that's called the internet. So I want to just, I want to thank everybody for, for uh, coming uh, and participating in this first, I think it's the first ever YouTube, where <laughs> Skype, where brothers and sisters, I mean, not no sisters here, but well, brothers, I, I hope not. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so used to saying brothers and sisters, but uh, that we can come together, and this is very positive. We don't know how this meeting may inspire somebody. We don't know. So it's good that we come together. Thank you, brothers. Brother Michael, uh, I think Brother Universal Moore is gone, but thank you, brother. And Brother Harvey, Super oh, he's still there. And uh, the Wacky Willow, oh, appreciate it. Love you, brother. Y'all, man, y'all got it going on. Because I know they, they keep me shut down. But, you know, as long as y'all there, the road, the, 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 the still, the still keep moving on the road. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for, for, for participating. And uh, brothers and sisters, it's going to be more of this. Uh, this is more than just talking. This is the beginning of talking with and support. That's the beginning. We got to start somewhere, and this is the beginning of things. So, again, brothers, thank you so much. And uh, y'all have a, a nice night, and, and uh, have a uh, have it safely. Peace. This is your brother, Peace. 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 Peace for having always and respect. <laughs> brother, are there any other, are there any other like, uh, links that anybody wants to put out there so that we can follow we other on different venues like YouTube or something other than Skype. Well, you can um, well you can well, you can find me on YouTube at Harvey Superboy. Just type in Harvey Superboy and you find me there. Uh, I'm gonna try to branch out, do some free things, but like I said, I'm not too familiar with all the computer lingo and technology and everything. But for now, you will catch me at uh, Superboy and um, I I try to get communication with everybody. Yeah, I have a Facebook page, but I don't use it that much. But the reason why I don't use it, because I don't want people to know. I don't want people to know my last name, that kind of stuff. So 
But now, if I if I do communicate with you, gentlemen, it will be like with personal messages and stuff. We exchange information yeah. among each other, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, you could contact me at uh, my Facebook is facebook.com right. slash the wacky world of all. Right. And uh, my YouTube page is, of course, uh, uh, youtube.com forward slash the wacky world of all. And on my YouTube page, I have a link to my Facebook page if anybody wants to contact me. And my phone number also. I, I give my, my phone number public. Uh, okay. Area code seven zero. Okay. And of course, eight seven two. I give seven three three. Right. Put it out in the public. Area code seven zero eight eight seven two seven three three. Yeah. Right. And brother, brother Michael is just uh, he's just, off he's just my, there, but... my buddy there. I wanted to bring my brother in. <laughs> you know, I've been talking to him. We've been talking yeah. for, be for a little while. How do we, brother Michael? Call me. You know, I don't care. My number on Facebook. <laughs> uh, it's, it's my, my Facebook page is uh, Michael <laughs> at Michael Anderson. Michael Anderson. That's the at. Don't forget the at. Like Anderson was a white man. Yeah. You know, I don't not even know him. I don't even know about that guy. Okay. 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 Right. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, everybody, everybody has my, my cell phone. Well, this is my telephone number. And everybody, you know, you can find me on Daily Motion, somewhere on YouTube, somewhere. I can't, you know. <laughs> they don't flag me so bad. I don't even have no specific place. But I, I, I'm on Facebook under uh, Sasha, Sasha Ten or Better. But you can just. Go to Facebook and just put Angel Snub No Seven and take you straight to the Reality Temple. I have I have two Facebook pages, the Reality Temple and, and Shasher. But anyway, I'm easily contact. I, I'm I'm out there, so it makes no difference. Uh, I'm going. You know, I'm going to just put it everywhere a little bit. But I'm going to put. But you're going to be able to find it real on my. Uh, you're going to be able to find it directly on my Facebook page. Okay. Right, okay. So it will be there. Well, but I'm going to put it on YouTube anywhere brother, I can put it. We need to keep each other informed. And, I'm telling and, you, it says Crypto P.E.Y. Uh, on my Daily Motion serpent, page. But Harmless is dumb. I'm telling you, this stuff is happening so fast, brother, that if it, we don't keep each other informed, you know, it's just mid deal. We're doing each other disservice, brother. It's just every day. Every day there's something else happening. I didn't even know about this, this nice yes, thing, you know what I'm saying? But that's so, so common, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Black. I'll be some beef. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> later. It's brother right. later. All right. Later. Peace. Even though right. you So I don't I don't know how that how it's gonna work and in in order to be in order to be you know be part of the the Skype this Skype conference you know that's not gonna be able to work because nobody won't be able to hear you. Yeah. Well, hopefully we we'll, we'll do some more anyway. You know, because I can talk to you on the telephone, but nobody else can hear you. I'm talking to you on the telephone. And like I said, my recorder can, my recorder will only pick up, will record just you and me. To, everybody else won't be able to, to hear you like me because I'm talking to you on the telephone. If, if uh, since you don't have a camera, the audio won't come through there. You know, they won't be able to hear you either through their computer.
Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, everybody should start calling in. Use the first one. And uh, I seen this one brother. He seemed like he just logging in, so he getting ready to, to call in. And we're going to see how this thing going to work. Okay, all right. All right, bro. Peace.